some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Indiana, where we listen to Craig Hendry whine, cry, and complain about how he is so persecuted and uh, treated so poorly by the government and everything like that. Yeah, that poor little mistreated frauditor. It's not like he mistreated everybody else in his life or anybody else he encountered. That karma is quite the bitch, isn't she? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? All right. Hello, everybody. This is Craig Hendry. I'm a citizen journalist making a report from the Vermilion County Jail in Indiana, where I am being held a political prisoner of the state of Indiana. Multiple public officials within the state have conspired to see that I am no longer free that they have deprived me of my life or my, my right to liberty and the pursuit of happiness. I want to start out by telling everybody what happened. You get no sympathy from me! You want sympathy? Look at the dictionary between shit and syphilis! That's where you'll find my sympathy! Yo, Craig, I don't feel sorry for you one bit. You brought this on yourself. You go around doing all this frauditing and everything like that. You get yourself into trouble and claim persecution and everything like that. Dude, it's not persecution. It's justice against a criminal, not persecution against a citizen journalist, as you like to claim it is. Because you're no journalist at all. You don't have the freaking ethics. And the only thing you've ever exposed is your own damn stupidity. There was a bond revocation held at my last Vermilion County, Indiana hearing, and my bond was revoked. So I have no bond and I'm being held until my trial. But I want to tell everybody why my bond was revoked or a little bit of the details surrounding that. So there are new charges against me, felony charges, out of Sullivan County, Indiana, I am the only one who has been able to see those charges as the Sullivan County, Indiana government has kept those sealed. Nobody other than me and my lawyer has access to that, and I don't even know if my lawyer has access to them. You really should keep your lies straight, dude, because first you said your lawyer saw them, and then you claim that your lawyer can't access them, which I find to be a load of bullshit to begin with. And if it did actually happen, then that could be something that your lawyer could expose and get some people into trouble. But uh, something tells me that you're a bold-faced liar like a lot of other frauditors are. Well, you are one of the king frauditing liars, so why should we take your word for it to begin with? But the new charges are felony intimidation. It's under a clause in the felony or in the intimidation code that says that uh, you know something happened because of somebody's profession. Uh, I haven't seen the probable cause, so I'm just giving everybody the information I have. The, the two other charges that exist on that cause are disorderly conduct as a class B misdemeanor and refusal to leave an emergency incident area as a class A misdemeanor, which is just another iteration of the 25-foot law. You know, Craig, you remind me of something that was said to me years ago by a friend of mine who uh, said I wasn't good enough to date his daughter, even though I never gave any indication that I wished to do so because, well, she wasn't my type anyway. But in a nutshell, he said to me that I'm not good enough to date his daughter because I had a job, I had a car, I was ambitious, and I didn't do drugs. But if I lost my car, lost my job, didn't care where I went in life, and and started doing drugs, then I would be perfect for his daughter. You know, as a matter of fact, I might as well go ahead and see if she's out of prison yet, so that way you two can actually hook up. I mean, I know you're married, but you would be exactly her type. Again, I want to reiterate that these charges are shrouded in secrecy. Uh, you couldn't find information on them if you tried, and this alone should raise suspicion about the legitimacy of these charges. 
So now I want to tell you that I will not be going to Sullivan County until this Vermillion County case is wrapped up, which means that I am stuck in jail with no bond until my jury trial, which me and my family and my very close friends have decided we are going through with no matter what. Hey, Craig, when are you going to grow up? Because you have a wife and a child. They are looking to you for support as you are looking to them for support. Why the hell are you putting yourself into a position that's going to ensure that you might end up in prison for a long time to come? And I'm not talking about these charges. These charges are quite petty to some that you could acquire in the future. I mean, good freaking grief, Craig. Grow the F up and start thinking about your family rather than well, uh, oh, the government is big and bad, and I have this big chip on my shoulder because of them. Yeah, grow up and take care of your family, dipshit. My court dates, as far as I know them, are November 1st. We have a evidentiary hearing. It wouldn't hurt for anybody who's interested to show up to that. I always love to see people at my court dates. And then the jury trial is set for November 19th, 20th, and 21st. It is a three-day jury trial. The first day will be mostly selecting the jurors, and then the second and third day we'll be getting into the meat of the case. I don't want this to be too long. I don't have a whole lot to say because, like I said, I haven't even seen the probable cause that goes along with my new charges. You either haven't seen them, which would be a violation of your due process, and something tells me that's not the case, or the other option is, like any other frauditor or softard, uh, you just choose to ignore the probable cause and everything like that, and then make the claim that nobody told you anything, even though they've been trying to tell you this the whole time. But I want to talk to people because a lot of people have been reaching out to my family, to my to my girlfriend Erica, and to my friend Tyler asking how to help, how to, how to help with this situation. And of course, I don't have a bond. So people looking to help, you know, they might say, well, how can I help? How can we get them out of here? There's no way to get me out of here. And no amount of money could help me get out of here. What I will say is that I do play a very active role in supporting my family and my two children. And without me, it will be very difficult for Erica, who works seven days a week now, to support these kids and to give them what they need. And so if anybody is able and willing, Erica could use all the support she can financially. Do you want to know how to help your children? Do you want to know how to support your children? Well... Craig, you're a young man with a bit of a criminal history, and I don't think you have anything more than a high school education, but that's all right. I mean, you could still get a good job somewhere. You could probably get hired on with Walmart. I mean, they're desperate for people right now. Uh, in fact, in some locations, they're not even doing background checks anymore. But seeing as how you are not exactly a people person, I would suggest not being around any of the customers. My suggestion would be that you join uh, one of the CAP teams. That would be Customer Action Plan Team. They're the ones that uh, are in the back unloading the trucks. But I warn you, you have to be in good physical shape to do that job because there's a lot of heavy lifting involved there. Uh, and of course, my donation links will be in the description below. My best friend, my brother Tyler, is making sure that my voice is going to get out to y'all, whether it's low quality or high quality. So I really appreciate Tyler, and I hope that everybody can thank him in the, in the comments section. But uh, financial support is still uh, supporting, and so is, hey, so is even making your voice heard. You know, if you want to express your dislike with the actions of your government, there's nothing wrong with that. Which, by the way, that's why I'm in Vermilion County, because... Over 800 people called, this is what the prosecutor said in my last hearing, over 800 people called Clinton City Hall in April 2022. Oh, so you're pretty much uh, proud of the fact that you had people call flood an establishment like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure YouTube's terms of service are very much against that, you freaking dipshit. And because of that, because 800 people called and expressed their dislike with their government's actions... I'm, I'm in trouble. Now I'm in jail. So, 
if anybody's wanting, you know, anybody wants to voice their, their dislike with the government's actions, there's nothing wrong with that. That's your First Amendment right. We just ask that, we just ask that you don't break the law when you do it. You know, don't, you know, don't commit uh, crimes when you express your dislike because the government's made that even uh, a criminal activity in some ways. So with that being said, everybody, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I really appreciate everybody's interest and support. I hope that some other YouTubers... Uh, can show support. And- yeah, you want other men to take care of your children for you because in all likelihood, you're going to run out on them like some other so-called men that just hate dealing with responsibilities. But don't worry, sweet thing. There are other real men out there that don't mind taking on that kind of responsibility, even if they have to take care of other people's children. Oh yes, your girlfriend will be just fine. She'll find another guy who's, well, a lot more responsible and try to raise awareness about the situation because right now they're doing the, they're doing their their absolute best to silence me and uh, and I got you have a huge support system but their support system is the taxpayers of Indiana and that is vast so any help is appreciated people and to be honest if anybody has uh, you know if anybody has funny money and they're willing to help me out you know uh, you know bring in another attorney in on this case could certainly help. And if anybody's willing to do that, get in touch with Tyler. Tyler will put his email in the description. You can get in touch with him about helping out with attorney's fees or possible attorney's fees. Because we already have one attorney. You know, two, three. And the state has three. You know, we need three. We need all we can get. So with that being said, all supporters appreciate it. Yeah, Craig, I'm sure they really want to silence you. But you know what? In reality, if they wanted to silence you, the honest truth is, If they wanted to silence you, they could. They could make you disappear forever. But seeing as how this is not North Korea and the government is not persecuting you, they're just, well, prosecuting you because you did commit crimes, well, you just got to deal with it and deal with the karma. That's all I've got to say about that, you douchebag. And that's where I'll end the video right there, folks, because you know what? This guy is a complete and total tool if he actually believes all this. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?